today's quick tip will be focusing on shifting while under pressure. Now there's a lot of benefits to learning how to shift smoothly while under pressure. Now take your bike for instance. When you're grinding gears, your chain is wearing down. You can break it. Your cassette is wearing down. All those things cost a lot of money. The less money we have to spend replacing broken parts, the better. Now as a rider, it helps because your whole ride becomes so much more smooth. When you're climbing hills under pressure and you learn how to shift, it becomes quick and effortless. Your riding becomes more fun. So the question is, how are we going to help you get better at shifting while under pressure? What we're gonna do is we're going to implement one of the six basic mountain bike skills, operation of controls, to help. We're gonna do that by breaking it down into two exercises. The first exercise covers the boost. After you feel confident with the boost, then we'll move on to the actual shift. So let's go ahead and hit the trails. So let's talk about practice area. For this exercise, all you really need is a big wide open space to roll in. It can be a parking lot, it can be a dirt field or a wide fire road, anything like that will work just fine. Anywhere where you can ride in circles and repeat the exercise over and over again. The secret to shifting successfully is to give yourself a quick boost with the pedals before you shift. This relieves the pressure from your chain, making your pedals feel lighter. This is when you shift. We really want to avoid creaking and grinding gears. Pedaling at a slow speed, give your pedal a quick hard push to boost yourself forward. Pay close attention. After the boost, you'll notice that your feet feel lighter on the pedals. It's while your feet feel light on the pedals that you want to shift. Now, ride around in a circle and repeat the exercise over and over again until it becomes second nature. You shouldn't even have to think about what you're doing. Exercise two, the shift, is a little bit hard to show on film. You want to shift immediately after the boost when your feet feel light on the pedals. Let's do that once more just for good measure. Boost, shift, and that's it. As you continue to practice, this will become smoother and smoother. You'll eventually become so good at this that both exercises will feel like one single move. When climbing steeper hills, one pedal stroke might not be enough. In this case, give two quick pedal strokes for a stronger boost. This will give you a strong enough boost to shift even climbing really steep hills. Let's wrap up what we learned today. First, we decided to work on improving our shifting while under heavy load or pressure. We did that by implementing one of the six foundational mountain bike skills, operation of controls. We talked about why to practice, how practicing would make it easier for us to shift, it would make it so we have a smoother ride, and so that we can save money on bike parts. Then we broke the drill down into two parts. First, the boost. Second, the shift. Then we talked briefly about further practice. We talked about trying to climb a hill using the two pedal stroke boost. And that sums up our quick tip. I hope this helps you get out on the trail and have more fun. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe. Also, leave your comments and questions down below. I'd love to hear from you. Lastly, if you have any ideas or suggestions about videos you'd like us to record, please let us know in the comments below.